the roots of x cube plus x square minus x minus 1 is equal to 0 are so and so. So, one way of doing it is substituting each of these values, but in this case solving the equation would be easier. So, if you look at these two, you can take the sum of the coefficients or in these two we can take out x square common and you get x plus 1 and these two we can take minus 1 common and you get x plus 1 is equal to 0. This means x square minus 1 into x plus 1 is 0. This means x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 1 is 0. So in that case each of them is 0 that means x minus 1 is 0 which means x is 1 x plus 1 could be 0 that means x is minus 1 again x plus 1 is 0 that means x is minus 1. So that is two of the values are minus 1 minus 1 so it's going to be minus 1 minus 1. So again the order is not very important so one two of the values of x are minus 1 and this one is 1. So on these this is the option which would possibly which will definitely work I wouldn't say possibly definitely work. Let's see, and yes, we do have that. All right. Next that we have here is this the solution of the cubic equation x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6 is equal to 0 is given by the triplet so and so. Now, here we have we have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6 is 0. So, if you put x as 1 over here, here you don't, there doesn't seem to be any common factor. Put x as 1, so you get 1 cube 1, minus 6 into 1 square minus 6, 11 into 1, 11, minus 6. If you add up all these, it turns out to be 0. So, when you're taking x is equal to 1, the value of this polynomial turns out to be 0. That means x minus 1 is a factor. So, if x minus 1 is a factor, then we do synthetic division. What do we put here? The opposite of minus 1, that is 1 you put. Write down all the coefficients, 1, then the x square coefficient, then the x coefficient, then the last term. First one we copy it as it is, then multiply 1 into 1 is 1. Then you're not subtracting as a normal division. Here we add minus 6 plus 1, minus 5. 1 into minus 5 is minus 5. 11 minus 5, 6. 1 into 6, 6 minus 6 plus 6, 0. That means this will turn out to be x minus 1 is the first factor into x square minus 5x plus 6 is 0, which can be further written as x minus 1, split the middle term, you get x squared minus 3x minus 2x plus 6 is 0. Why? Because minus 3 plus minus 2 is minus 5, minus 3 into minus 2 is 6. This on simplifying, taking out common factors in these two and then these two, we'll end up getting x minus 1 into x minus 3 into x minus 2 is 0. So this means either x minus 1 is 0, which means x is 1, or x minus 3 is 0, that is x is 3, or x minus 2 is 0, that is x is 2. So the value of x, values of x which could satisfy this equation will be 1, 2 and 3. That will be have option number B. So once again, it means that you need to factorize this using the synthetic division process first ascertaining. Suppose x is equal to minus 1 did not turn out to be 0, then you try for x is equal to plus 1. If that turns out to be 0, it means that x plus 1 is a factor. In that case, you would write minus 1 over here, right? So what we have is x is 1, x is 2 or x is 3 and that's our option and let's check what we have at the hand. Yes, we do have 1, 2, 3 in hand and that's the right man. So, we have 1, 2 and 3. So, this is how we are solving a cubic equation. Alright, because in this case, taking out common factor will not work because you see there is no trend between the 
coefficients, which was not uh, the case in the previous examples. Okay, and all right. <coughs> The cubic equation x cubed plus 2x square minus x minus 2 is 0 has 3 rules. We can take these two here if you see. This is twice this. This is also twice this. And you have x square into x plus 2 minus 1 into x plus 2 is 0. This is the equation you get. This will give you x square minus 1 into x plus 2 is 0. Which means x minus 1 into x plus 1 into x plus 2 is 0. So which means either x minus 1 is 0 that means x is 1 or x plus 1 is 0 which means x is minus 1 or x plus 2 is 0 that means x is equal to minus 2. So it's 1 minus 1 and minus 2 we have as the option here. which could be 1 among these, definitely not this, not this, so it's going to be 1 minus 1 minus 2, so yes, minus 1 minus 2 and plus 1, this would be the option that we have here. So, let's check, and yes, the answer is minus 1, 1 minus 2, I repeat, the order is not important, so you have to verify for all, each of the cases and see that the order doesn't take you for a ride. Alright, then what we have next. So right now we have x cubed minus 6x squared plus 11x minus 6 is 0. Find the value of 3x minus 4. So we do the same exercise. If you put x is equal to 1, you find the value of this polynomial is 0, which means that x minus 1 is a factor. So if x minus 1 is a factor, we're going to do synthetic division. We don't take much space over here. So we write down the coefficients 1, minus 6, 11 and minus 6. And what do we put here? Not this minus 1, but the opposite of minus 1, that is 1. The first one, we write it 1 as it is, 1 into 1. 1 minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. 1 into minus 5 is minus 5. 11 minus 11 plus minus 5, which is 6. 1 into 6 is 6 and we get minus 6 plus 6, 0. So the factor, first factor is x minus 1 into x squared minus 5x plus 6. This entire expression becomes this, becomes 0. In short, if you factorize this, we get x minus 1 into x minus 2 into x minus 3 is 0. Either this is, so that means either x is 1 or x is 2 or x is so the value of x could be 1, 2 or 3, hence we substitute in this 3 into 1, 3 minus 4, minus 1, 3 into 2, 6 minus 4, 2, 3 into 3, 9 minus 4, 5. So it's minus 1, 2 and 5 could be the various values of 3x minus 4. So check it here, it's gonna, it could be a little confusing, how do you find this? So actually you need to find the value of x. And since there are three possible values of x, there could be three, there are bound to be three possible values of 3x minus 4. So it's going to be minus 1, 2, and 5. So among these, this is the option. And see what we have here. Yes, we do have minus 1, 2, and 5. 